Moon Road Podcast. Welcome to another episode of Moon Road Podcast. I am your host, Blue Friday. And in this episode, we are going to talk about fear. Where it comes from and what we can do to overcome it. I've thought a while about this and I've done some writings on it. And as I refined my writings on the origin of fear, I've come to a pretty solid conclusion on what fear is, or at least where it comes from. And in my studying and in my writing, I've came to a stark conclusion that all fear ultimately comes from fear of the unknown, right? And how I got there is I looked at everything that everyone fears, including myself, historically and in present moment. And it it dawned on me that most fears stem from, if not all fears, stem from the fear of death. And then I got to thinking, I said, okay, are we fearing death in and of itself or do we fear the unknowingness of death? And then it dawned on me that we fear the unknown. It's not that we fear death. We fear, we don't know where we're going. We don't know how to even conceive what happens after this thing stops. So all fear ultimately stems from the fear of the unknown. We look back 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 years ago. Most of humanity was scared of the dark. They feared the dark. And then you unpack this and you see that humans, early humans, they were not in fear of the dark in and of itself just for the darkness being dark. What they feared was the unknown, what existed within the darkness. That's what the fear stemmed from, what lurked behind the bushes, what was beyond the lake, what was hidden within the mountains. We feared the unknown, not necessarily the darkness. You know? And it's kind of like a revelation to me to come to these conclusions because in our present day world, if you look at the fears of most people, the things that most people fear, it still all stems from this fear of the unknown. You have second guesses on going to a college outside of your state or outside of the country. You say, hey, I'm going to have to make new friends over again. I don't speak their language. I'm going to have to learn a new language, uh, this or that, this and that. And all these are excuses because you simply fear the unknown of it. You just don't know. And it, And this is enough to paralyze you from taking that opportunity to study abroad if we're being honest with ourselves, you know, you see a, a, a good looking woman or a handsome man that you may want to speak to, but in your mind, oh, I don't know which, what I should say, or I don't know how they're going to respond to me or if they're going to reject me, or this person may have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Oh, I don't know if I'm, uh, you know, all these things in your head, And you think about it, you're just paralyzed in fear from the unknown. That man or that woman could have been your future wife or your future husband. You may have missed your opportunity to build a great relationship with somebody. You get what I'm getting at? A lot of these fears and these thoughts that we have in our head comes from the fear of the unknown. So if we're to live life fully, we have to challenge the unknown. We have to move beyond the fear of the unknown. We have to move into a new existence where we do not fear the unknown. In fact, we welcome it. We embrace it. Because what comes, comes. There's so much potential, so much good 
The universe is impregnated with so much good, so much untapped potential. But we will never be able to realize this potential if we don't get past that barrier of the unknown, of fearing it. In the Christian religion, we call this having faith, walking in faith. That's what we're instructed to do, to walk in faith, to believe. We are told that we are the children of light, the children of the light. So that in all the darkness we find ourselves in, we fear not because we're light bearers. And this mentality and this knowingness of who we are as human beings, light bearers, is what we need to have instilled in us so that that fear is absolved. You look at a, uh, an animal, take a gazelle or any animal for that matter, they are walking 30, 40, 50 miles a day in uncharted territory, in dangerous territories. They're crossing lake lakes infested with crocodiles and alligators just to get to the other side where they can graze the grass for just a little bit longer so that their family may have protection and safety and food and abundance. And they walk in the darkness searching for food and shelter. And they do this in spite of that fear of the unknown in spite of the leopard hiding beneath, beneath the trees and in the thick of the forest, in spite of that crocodile lurking beneath the lake, they go and drink. In spite of the lake being infested, they cross that lake to get to the other side so they could feed their family. This is the mentality that we should have as human beings. We have to live life in spite of the unknown. We have to have that confidence and that willingness to say, even though I don't know the conclusion or the outcome of what, of what may come, I'm going to live fully and bravely, courageously, and I'm going to achieve everything that I set out to achieve. And we can live the life that we want to live, that is destined for us to live once we can absolve ourselves of the fear of the unknown. And what's a blessing about getting things at the root and, and solving things at the root of the problem is that if once we absolve ourselves of the fear of the unknown, all the other fears will fall away. They will just fall away. It's like taking a snake and cutting the head off. Then the body drops. Once you take that fear of the unknown and overcome it, all these other fears and anxieties and worries and insecurities will fall to the wayside because you've overcame the ultimate fear of humanity. And that's the fear of the unknown. So understand that life is a mystery. And we're a part of that mystery. And you don't need to fear life because it's a mystery. You live it. You live it courageously. You don't fear the things you don't know. You don't fear the outcomes you don't know. You don't fear the responses that you don't know. You don't fear the people that you don't know. You meet life where it is and you take on life. You challenge the unknown. 